So we see Egyptian exile. It will, we're going to study it again to the extent that we'll be able to understand more of what it what it's showing us, what it tells us. As the Torah tells us, it gets uh, more and more ruthless. The conditions get more and more cruel and harsh. And uh, up, above these things, the people unite even more. So when the disturbances from the ego become so great and the unity becomes so just as great, you're simply pushed, uh, you you're, you shoot out of like a like a seed under this great force and great pressure. So all that we need to do is work on the on the unity in the center of the group and all the dissemination that we do. It, the point of it all is just, just for us to get together, to unite together. If you understand, if you know our group here in Israel. Our central group. Maybe a few months ago, uh, if you if you knew if you if you knew this group a few months ago, get to get to know this group today. It's a completely different group than it was a few months ago. The unity that they have attained it means everything. Even if we fail in absolutely everything else, none of those things matter. The the important thing, the only important thing, is for us to all achieve the same unity common unity when everyone is cares for the same goal men women children everyone and everyone is in his spot in his place and everyone contributes for to the common cause this is why I've decided to do uh, everything uh, everything that we're doing and I don't care about the external result of course I care that that because we're going to continue disseminating and uh, we're going to continue exerting this pressure until the Creator reveals himself when we attain the first level of uh, revelation and reveal as nefesh the nefesh, the first step, the first degree of 125.